Hi, I'm Mark. Welcome back to Foothill Paint Fabrication. Well, last time you guys saw the hood, we were getting some primer on it. So we got it all sanded up and uh, repaired, and we got a nice coat of polyester primer on here. But before we can sand this, guide coat it, and block it out, we need to get the center molding strip uh, ready to go. So we want this strip to basically be ready just to fall back on the hood practically. We don't want to be uh, screwing around after this is done and polished and ready to go and this piece is all ready to go. You don't want to start bending things and trying to make them fit. You want to do it way before you get to paint. And so that's what we're going to do today. So we got a little bit of work to do on this thing. All these little tabs need to be straightened out and we need to do a lot of test fitting to make sure it's going to fit on really nice and lay perfectly straight because uh, I think it's got a little bit of a bow in it, but we're gonna check that out and see how it fits. Uh, we also need to get all this paint off here. It's got gobs of paint on it. Um, I think we're gonna do it mechanically. I don't have any chemical stripper in the shop right now, and it's such a small piece. I think we can just wire wheel this off here and maybe run a DA over it. So let's, uh, let's get over to the bench and take a look at these little tabs and then uh, start messing with them and see if we can't get this thing to lay on the hood just right. Okay guys, so we've uh, got the molding laying up here on its back on the bench and we got a couple of tabs right here. Now the factory puts a twist in these, just they just give a little bit of a turn to hold that onto the hood and hold it down tight, uh, which is a good thing. Now if they would have bend these over, uh, like you might think, then when you bend them back straight, then it's going to probably work hard in that little spot. And then when you go to put it back on, you bend it, it's going to bend to the exact same spot and it could snap the tab off and then you're kind of screwed. So luckily they just put a little uh, tweak on them like that. So uh, all we're going to do is, uh, you guys saw me straighten them out very carefully. I was very careful not to, you know, keep bending them back and forth trying to get them straight. I just turned them just enough and popped it off the hood. But we're going to be using pliers uh, like these. These pin together really nice. And what we're going to do, we're just trying to straighten these out, get them standing straight up and down. And also by pinching them, we take all the hoop de doos out of them that, from the twist. So I, I don't see much twist in them, but we want to make sure they're nice and straight. So I'm going to mess with these here a little bit. And these are looking pretty good right here. Now the slots in the hood are one half inch apart. So the center of that one to the center of that one this way needs to be a half inch. So I grabbed a half inch wrench to use as a gauge, but unfortunately these are so far apart, I can't reach it. So I grabbed the caliper, set it for a half inch, and we're just gonna come in here like that. And that fits just over the top of it. It barely, barely fits. So that's, uh, that one's good to go. I'm going to go through and do all of them like that before we even go over the hood and start messing around. So uh, let me get all these knocked out real quick. We'll move over to the hood and see if this thing's just going to fall right on, which would be ideal. Okay, let's see if this fits on here. I'll just start at the back and hold it up. Try to get that, that one dropped in. So the first two go in real easy. They just fall in is what you, what you really want. The third one here is not wanting to go in. So I'm going to have to keep messing with it because I just want them to fall in. I don't want to, you know, have to move it around and get it going. So, yeah, so I'm having to mess with it a little bit. They're going in. So that's working out pretty good. But I, I want them to go in like the first two. I just want it to kind of sit on there and they just kind of fall right in. That way, uh, I just trust me, I've screwed up scratch paint jobs just getting in a hurry and not doing it right in the front end and trying to do it on the back end. So I'm going to take some time, get these bent one, uh, one by one. Now the first two are good. This one's close and I'll just keep kind of messing with them and keep going all the way down until you basically just lay this on here and it just almost just attaches itself. Now it looks like it's laying pretty flat. It had a little hoop to do right here, but it's a really gradual. I'm sure we can push down and uh, just bend them and it'll hold it tight to the hood. So I'm not really worried about that. Once we get the paint stripped off of it, I'm gonna put it back on here and we'll check it again. I might need to put it over my knee and just kind of give it a little bit of a tweak to get it to lay really nice, but uh, we'll worry about that once we get the paint off. So I'm gonna go ahead and get these bent so it fits really nice. And then, uh, then we'll move over and start getting some of the paint off this thing. Okay guys, I uh, decided to go ahead and risk it 
and uh, use the big polisher with the big wire wheel on it to get the bulk of the paint off. Once I get most of it off, then uh, we'll switch over to an air tool with the wire wheel and get the rest of it. I worked at the Chrome shop for quite a few years and I, I got pretty good at not hanging stuff up in wheels and uh, you know, turning moldings like this into a pretzel. So I'm gonna risk it. If you're not sure, I wouldn't do it. I would uh, go an easier route, which would be to lay it out on a piece of wood or a bench and then use a wire wheel or a DA, which a DA is kind of hard because you're just using the very tip of it to try to get all this paint. And there is quite a bit of paint on here. So I'm just going to get after it. I'll bring you guys back once we get most of it off. We'll take a look at it. Um, it looks really good shape. I don't see any rust on it, any kinks in it, any types of repair. So I think it's, we, all we need to do is really just get this paint off here. Okay, that came out pretty well. Uh, I was able to just do it with a big, uh, big wire wheel on the polisher there. Didn't have to switch the little one and I didn't bend it or get it hung up, so that's good. I probably should have straightened the tabs out bef uh, after I wire wheeled it because uh, the wire wheel did hit a few of them. I don't think it bent them, but uh, it probably would have been a good idea to wire wheel it first then uh, straighten all those tabs. But it looks like it's working out good. So the next step, I'm gonna just take some 220 and I'm just gonna hand sand the whole thing. And I'm going to keep an eye out for any dents or kinks or any spot that the paint was hiding. And we're just going to sand this whole thing and then uh, wipe it down with some lacquer thinner. And then we're going to retest fit it back on the hood. And if it fits good, then I think we can uh, go ahead and mix up some etching primer and get this thing sprayed. Okay, got it back on the hood. Had to bend a couple of tabs just a little bit, but it's looking really good. I got a clothespin holding it down right there. Got a little squeeze clamp on the other end where the emblem usually holds it down. But you guys can tell it's sitting really flat on that hood and that's not with the tabs bent that's just laying there so it's going to be down even tighter once the, it's pushed down and the tabs are bent so it looks really good nice and straight almost looks chromes laying there like that doesn't it darren wants to paint it blue though he doesn't have a lot of chrome on the truck so i think uh, i think the blue choice is uh, is the way to go all right, let's get this thing off here, get it uh, scotch brighted and tacked off and get some etching primer sprayed on it. Okay, I got the molding up on the rack, just really quick. Uh, to hold it, I just took a piece of wire and I bent it and I poked it up inside where one of the tabs has been up, there's a hole. And then I just put a standoff on there, pulled it tight, put a vice grip on it. So it's held pretty good there. And down here, all I did was take a pair of uh, long nose vice grips pinched onto one of the tabs and then I just kind of bolted that to the arm here. So it's on here pretty sturdy. I'll throw a little tape around both of these so I don't get uh, etching primer all over my vice grips. But that's pretty much it. I'm going to roll it outside when we shoot it. Let's move over to the bench, mix up some etching primer and get this thing sprayed and we'll call it a day. Okay, I just have a little bit left of the etching primer so we're going to use it up. So I got it stirred up really well. This is a part A and a part B system. It, uh, it has the etching primer and then the phosphoric acid that goes in it. So the phosphoric acid eats into the metal, converts it, and then the sealer seals over the top of it. It's a very effective way of doing it. You could use uh, DTM or direct to metal primers. Yeah, there's several other ways to do it. I happen to have this in stock right here, so we're gonna use this up. And we're just gonna pour it in. This isn't a graduated, uh, mixing cup so I'm gonna kind of eyeball it here we're probably gonna mix up way more than we need but there's very little left in the can so we're just gonna go ahead and mix it all up so I'm gonna eyeball it right about there and I'll tell I'll pour in the phosphoric acid uh, these were both one quart to one quart so if I mixed it 
correctly over all these other times, then this should be right on the money. So I'm going to just pour that in and figure about where it should rise up to. And that's about it right there. Maybe a couple splashes left in there. Maybe I didn't mix it exactly right all those other times. So I'm going to mix this up and put it in a small gun. We're going to move the uh, molding outside and uh, we're going to get two or three good coats on this thing. This stuff is super thin. So you put it on, let it flash, put it on, let it flash. Uh, a lot of companies want to wet on wet. So you spray this, you let it flash off, but you don't let it set up all the way. And then you spray your primer, or your sealer over the top of it. I like to spray it, let it set all the way and then scuff it with a scotch Brite pad and then put primer on it. And that's what we're going to do. So let me, uh, let me get this mixed up, get it in gun, we'll get it sprayed. Okay, I've got the uh, air tip turned sideways so the, the pattern will go horizontal. We'll just get this sprayed up real quick here. Somebody forgot to put masking tape on his vice grips. Well, that's all right. All right, I'm gonna flash that off, let that flash off just a couple seconds. Um, there's a little breeze blowing out here, so it'll, this stuff is super thin, it dries really quick. And then uh, I'm gonna put a couple more coats on it, probably three coats. There's gobs in here. I'm gonna look around for something else that needs some etching primer, uh, use this up. But uh, we're gonna let that tack off, get another coat on it, and uh, we're gonna let this thing dry. Okay guys, all done. Got the molding sprayed. Gun is clean. It's looking really good. Nice and straight. Fits the hood really nicely. Had one little tiny dent right around here somewhere, right on that ridge. And uh, we'll take care of that in prime. Maybe a little tiny bit of glazing putty, but uh, it shouldn't be that big a deal. Also sprayed, uh, I had plenty left over, so I sprayed the underside of the uh, hood brace there. It was kind of bare, so got some couple of coats of etching primer on there, extra protection. It, uh, it's not seen, but I uh, wanted to get that on there anyways. But uh, the molding is looking really, really good. We're gonna set this aside, and next time we need to spot prime the hood or spray the hood with some primer, we'll go ahead and get this out and uh, get it scuffed up and spray it at the same time. But uh, really happy the way this came out. Okay guys, that pretty much wraps up this video for today. We got this molding uh, nice, all the clips nice and straightened out, fits on the hood just super easy. Uh, we got it stripped down, bare steel, got some etching primer on it. It's looking really good. Discovered that little tiny dent after the fact, but it's no big deal. We'll take care of that later. Uh, next step, we're going to get back on the hood, get some sandy done on that, set this aside. We'll get back to it a little bit later. Thanks for joining me here at Foothill Paint and Fabrication. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button and comment, guys. Love those comments and mash that bell icon so you get notifications every time I release a new video. We'll see you on the next one.